Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So another video here on kinetics. So let's get started. Bam! So an applied pharmacological example of kinetics number one. To manage pain in some patients, morphine is given. It so happens that morphine follows first order kinetics in the human body. The half-life in the human body for morphine is 6.70 hours. Suppose a patient is given a therapeutic dose of morphine. How much must have originally been present if 1.38 milligrams of morphine remains in the blood of the patient after 26.3 hours since the initial dose? Okay, so we're going to figure this out. Let's solve for this. So the first thing that we know is that this is first order kinetics. So we need the first order integrated rate law and we need the half-life equation associated with the integrated rate law for this. All right, so we've got those covered. All right, so then we're going to use that half-life equation. That's T of one half is equal to natural log of two over K. We were given the half-life in this problem. So therefore we need to solve for K. So what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange this equation right here and solve for K. That's what I've done right there. I have rearranged that half-life equation, solve for K. So now I have K is equal to natural log of two over T of one half. T of one half is the half-life. So we're going to plug in the half-life for the T of one half and we're going to solve for K. So let's do that right now. And it says that the half-life in the human body is 6.7 hours. Let's plug that in right there. So K is equal to natural log of two divided by 6.7 hours. You're going to take natural log of two in your calculator. That's going to be 0 0.693 divided that by 6.70. Okay, we're going to get a number and that will be per hour. And that is right here. So K is equal to 1.03 times 10 to the negative one per hour. All right, so you got the rate constant for this first order reaction. Now we're gonna use the integrated first order rate law. That's right there, okay? I'm gonna do a little bit of rearranging because we're gonna have to do this anyways. Because what are we asked to solve for? We're asked to solve for the initial amount or the initial concentration, the initial dose. So we're actually solving for x sub naught, x sub zero. That's the initial concentration. So we're gonna solve for that right here, okay? So it's natural log of x sub t minus natural log of x sub naught, that's what we're solving for, is equal to negative kt. So what I've done is rearrange this equation just a little bit. So on the right-hand side, we do have the amount of time. That's 26.3 hours. Okay, that we're gonna plug in for t. We also have the rate constant at 1.03 times 10 negative one per hour. Okay, now I want you to notice that the rate constant and the time are in the same set of units. That is either hours or per hour. So we're good there. We don't have to do any uh, conversion from hours to minutes or seconds to hours or anything like that. So we're good there. Then we also know the concentration at time t. Okay, and that is the 1.38 milligrams, and that's gonna be the concentration at time t. Then we're gonna solve for the concentration at time zero. That's the initial amount. So let's plug in those values. That is the concentration at time t, the rate constant, and the time. So that's what we got right there. So now I have natural log of 1.38, that's 1.38 milligrams, minus natural log of x sub naught, which is what we're solving for, equals negative the rate constant, which is 1.03 times 10 negative one per hour times the amount of time, and that's 26.3 hours. Again, make sure that your rate constant and your time are in the same set of units for the time portion, and that is the hours you're gonna cancel out. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of math here, plug numbers into our calculator, and get some intermediate steps. So the natural log of 1.38 is 0 0.3221. That's what I got right there. Then minus natural log of x sub naught is equal to the product of the rate constant and the time. I've gotten rid of the hours because they disappear because those cancel out, okay? And that right-hand side of the equation is negative 2.7089. All right, we're gonna move that 0. 3221 to the right hand side of the equation with a little bit of subtraction and that's what we've got right there. So now I have negative natural log of x sub naught is equal to negative 3.031. Okay, so 
Now, how do I get rid of that natural log? Okay, there's a button on your calculator. Just like, remember, we have addition, we have subtraction. Those are opposite features. We have multiplication, we have division. Those are opposite features. Natural log and e to the are opposite features. So we're going to be doing that here pretty soon. We are going to get rid of the minus sign here first to make matters easier for us. So now we have the natural log of x of naught is equal to the positive value of the 3.031. Now we're going to use that e button. So we got e to both sides right over there. That will get rid of the natural log portion of it. And now we're just going to have x is equal to whatever e to the 3.031 is. And that's what we got right here. And so x is equal to 20.7 milligrams. Now I put back on the units associated with the amount that we had initially because the initial amount, or uh, sorry, the amount that we had um, at the end at 26.3 hours was 1.38 milligrams. Now I put those units back on this here for the initial amount. That's 20.7 milligrams. All right, so make sure you review that problem. That's a super great problem. Okay, and I will see you next time. But before that, I got a hat to show you. So here we go. Don't make me crabby. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you next time for more kinetics problems. Bye for now. See you later.